tonight, a KETV Crime Stoppers alert. It has been a year since someone killed a smart young woman, and her family is desperate for closure. Good evening. I'm Brandi Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. Time means little for Janae Hayden's family. They lost her 10 days before Christmas after someone opened fire outside an Omaha bar. Tonight, they are hoping someone will speak up and bring them closure. KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett joins us live. Janae's sister says she just wants to be able to look her nephew in the eyes and tell him that his mom's killer is caught and put away for life, no longer able to hurt anyone. Call it never resting. I've had some sleep last night. Always questioning. Even after years pass, oh. Trying to find the reason. One day soon we'll get justice for Janae. Yeah. We will get it. We just have to fight. We have to fight with all our might and we will get it. Dozens come to a young mother's grave. I just want to let you know that I love you, Nay. Yeah. I miss you. Remembering the weeks before Janae Hayden's tragic death outside Passion Lounge. A bullet not meant for her. We never thought, like, as she's sitting on the couch, like... Next year, we get to go see her at her, her grave. You know, that's just horrible. Her family, supported by the community, by others with stolen family members. We represent the ones that have been stolen from us. And we always, will always scream for justice. Usually weekly, Janae's family seeks updates from the lead detective on this now year old case, even talking to Chief Schmatterer two weeks ago. But even leads with promise early on. Have faded. Somebody out there knows what happened to her. Somebody out there knows more than what they're telling, and I'm just begging somebody to step forward and bring us justice. The last reported lead was a woman caught using one of Janae's credit cards at a convenience store. She paid a fine. Her case was closed in July. No one has been arrested in connection with Janae's death. Crime Stoppers is still offering up to a $25,000 reward for the tip that leads to an arrest. Rob Brandy, back to you. Adrian, thanks.